We are, uh, I'll call to order the meeting of the East Hampton Planning Board for July 28th, 2015. Um, anybody here to speak to something that is not on the agenda? All right. I don't think we got minutes from that last meeting, so we'll just put that off until next meeting. Does that, does that make sense, guys? Yep. yep. And we have one A&R here for this quick. Is that all right with you guys? Fine. All right. You folks here for this one, Everett Street? Yes. All right, right. Yes. Come on up. All right, let's get this quick right. once over over here. Put it next to one of that. Sure, <laughs> that'd be good. Okay, we're purchasing some land from Danis's. This area, this yeah. area here, because where I live, my my uh, mother lives on this property here, and it's landlocked, so I could build a house. Okay. Off the third Avenue. Off the third Avenue. All right. So, so you're buying that section, and then you're gonna hundred feet of frontage off of the main street, Beef okay. Street. And Joe and my family have a great tour. Okay, and then you're. So that'll be the new boundary line? Yes. So uh, then you'll have the frontage required to build. Yeah, so the frontage is down there on Everett Street. Street. Yeah. And we'll keep tight. the frontage on that one. Um, okay, so yeah, they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. We don't have the other one. Okay. Anybody have any questions? No. No. I think it's okay. It's an approval not required, so it's not a motion to approve. It's a motion to uh, endorse. Me the word endorse. That's the word I'm after. Endorse the approval not required for a motion. We endorse the plan as presented. I'll second that endorse. All right. All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? All right. I deserve to go to you. <laughs> 28. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yep, July 28th. <laughs> do you know how many we need to sign? Um, we need the miler signed and a copy for the applicant. So two for the applicant and then uh, at least four, three of the other paper copies signed. I thought we had the miler and four. four. Um, Maybe it was five, one for each, if we needed to look at that. I'm not sure. I still always remember the my heart, but anyway. You're looking well. Still alive. Yeah, you need to bring to the registry of deeds to file it to record it um, and they'll I think they keep the mylars now um, okay. as part of the recording the land as the new property boundaries Mm -hmm. All right. So which one do you need? Um, a copy and the mylar. We need all the rest. They take a copy and the mylar. Okay. There's a copy and the mylar for you guys. Um, did you sign the form A stream or? What's that? Can we just keep the form A. Where'd the form A go? The, the right there in front of you. Oh. Is there anything? That... No, I don't think I signed that one. We just I think I'll just keep it. Alright. Thank you. Good luck, folks. <laughs> Alright. So, on to the next thing. Uh, new business of public hearing for the proposed amendments to the home occupation ordinance. You guys want to open your oh, yeah. I move to uh, open uh, ordinance. So, so, so. All, all favor? Aye. 
Okay, well, do you want to explain a little bit about what? Sure. Um, so the Zoning Board of Appeals um, took upon themselves to um, propose an ordinance change uh, to the home occupation. They've been dealing with a lot of uh, home occupations, re special permit requests for um, things like home offices, uh, people who are doing secretarial work out of their home, um, mm -hmm. really basic, um, no impact um, to the abutters, and it was clogging up their sort of permitting pathway. Um, from the planning department side, we went along and helped them through the process because we felt that the um, if someone's working, if someone wants to work out of their home and they live there, and they're not having people come to the house, it shouldn't be a special permit. It should be a much more like just endorsement by the building inspector or the planning director. Um, so we're running into administrative difficulties where people would come in, they need a business certificate. Um, we won't, we can't sign off the business certificate unless they they're um, approved with. Uh, unless they have zoning approval, yeah. and the zoning requires a special permit for any home occupation as it currently stands. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just sort of this, a lot of red tape and bureaucracy that the zoning board and the planning, the zoning board of yeah, appeals and the planning department sort of worked together to come up with this uh, proposal. Um, the copy that you're seeing in front of you um, has references to red and blue um, because the original board document had track changes, um, but then it got copied and lost the color. So the important thing is that anything that's crossed out is the strikeout, that's, that was what was in red. The things that were in blue and green were underlined. So if you can read it easily, it's still in. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's no, it's just like regular black <coughs> text without an underline or a strikeout, that's not being changed. Um, and, um, and then Jessica made some comments to this one yes. too, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So the, the, the final proof version was the, the version submitted by the Zoning Board of Appeals. Yep. Um, and Jess had some comments that she forwarded on to you guys to, to discuss going forward. You guys got a copy of that yeah. version too? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a great idea. I think Jess commented on a couple things that probably need to get discussed but like the hazardous materials like uh, corrosive toxic radioactive uh, yeah I, I mean <laughs> probably shouldn't I think the question mark is generous I think probably that shouldn't be <laughs> no. I have a radioactive processing lab in my house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it got mixed in my batter uh, yeah um, that and then the other one she had a comment about whether to include accessory structures which I think yeah, makes sense yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that comment was more about why accessory structures weren't because like previously in the in the they had mentioned accessory structures, right? And then I think it was just left out of that. Um, so you're saying measure. she's wondering why we aren't mentioning the inclusion of accessory structures? Yeah, under right. applicability. Yeah, in, right. the, in the first in the definitions in the, the first paragraph mm -hmm. it says um, residential building or structure or accessory there too, and then it doesn't mention it again. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in in. Right, and so then 10.42 just says in any dwelling unit. Right. right. So. I couldn't read what she wrote at the bottom of the first page. It yeah. says not zoning. Why, why right. regulate here? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so yeah. that's like, I mean, if you're required to have a business certificate by someone else, you wouldn't typically put that in a zoning regulation right. just because right. right. that's another requirement. Yeah. Um, that's not related. I, I mean, is there a reason, Jamie, not to include accessory structures or anything that's the planning department? I mean, if it already doesn't meet the impact. No, I, I think the intent was to, to include, include that, the right? Yeah. Structures, um, that you could have a, so you a small add, shed and have like a wood shop in there. Right. And accessory oh. structures. Yeah. So the 10, 4, 10 point four two would read: Home occupations complying with the standards in this ordinance should be permitted by right in any dwelling unit, and the, the accessory structures on that property are. Something like that. Something, okay. Um, whatever. Yeah. 
do we need to be specific with language? Is our role in this to narrow it down to what it's specifically say and, and have you uh, ultimately push it forward to to uh, city council? Yes, I, I mean that's that's what I would imagine is that that we'll kind of find the inconsistencies with language, <laughs> fix those, and then that's what will get sent on to us. Let's nail this one down um, since we're here then. How about and accessory structure? Right. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, Jessica strikes out a lot of stuff in her notes. I don't know if we want to just take that and accept it or if we want to have her do that and look at it again after it's cleaned up. I don't know. Um, yeah, like she, she took out the off street parking um, what number are you piece. Uh, that's uh, I and yeah. 10.42. Yeah, so that was, um, she felt that that was duplicitous because you just referenced the table. The table, right. the table the, referenced the parking and the parking yeah. ordinance tells you how to provide for mixed use dwelling or mixed use. Excuses. And then in 10.44, she circled number C for no increase of traffic to the neighborhood. I'm assuming that's because How there would obviously be some increase in traffic in the neighborhood, presumably. I mean, if you're allowed to have... What is it, two cars per hour? That Yeah, that's set out later. Right, so and, but like even in this one section underneath 10.44C, it talks about... Uh, no deliveries other than the types that frequently occur in the residential neighborhood. That seems reasonable to yeah. C1. So I mean maybe it's the the heading of C it covers too broad a range while the two specific right. examples are better. Well and it seems to right. contradict that. that. So maybe yeah, exactly. it would be something along the lines of um, significant uh, increase? Yeah, or traffic traffic in the neighborhood shall not be affected other than right. uh, or, or there or, should be no increase of traffic yes. to the neighborhood other than now I wonder well, how this how this relates. Even that, how you track it? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sam. No, well, I'm just thinking of like in in my district that I know there's a home business park. What is it? Park View Landscaping. Mm -hmm. And is that a home business? Is that a home occupation? Because I'll tell you what, they park their trucks in the middle of Park Street and make it a one lane street like four or five times a day. Right. So I wonder, would this make them? I don't know where they stand. I don't know if it would cover like a would landscaping be, company. Uh, well, this doesn't prevent it. This is just a qualification for the minor home occupation, right. which is something they could do. Yeah. If you're building a department, right? It would yeah. just be a permit. And this right. is, right, this is what That's they can question. do without a special permit. Right, just by right. 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 So yeah. it doesn't mean that you couldn't get a permit or a, a major home occupation right. permit which is, yeah, that might allow out. more. Standards for so major home occupation. It would behoove you to see if they have a major home occupation. It would be interesting because they definitely have but an But if they're doing them. that, they're impeding basic traffic, I would yeah. think. Do you know anything about that? I don't know okay. about anything off the... I've seen the trucks there and, you know, you just go around them as half because we're... Well, they park on the street anyway having, as... Right. You know, like a lot of landscaping companies do that anyway. They just park right. in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. But they do it, like you know, multiple times a day. I don't know why they have to go there, but yeah. it's at a house. Question, which landscaping company is that? Parkview. Parkview? Yeah, on Park Street. So maybe in this case, if it were just traffic effects to the neighborhood, colon, one and two. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. it's not actually saying anything in that first line. It's just sort of defining just, what this topic is. Yeah, it's like the heading. Yeah. <clears throat> But we or what if we just eliminate C and make one and two C and D? Yeah, that's yeah. another option. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And then E would be whatever D is. Made. Right. That might make more sense. I agree. I agree with that. But you're probably uh, one of the first ones to mention it. I'm not sure if anyone in your neighborhood would mention anything about the trucks being out there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it and if they were, they would come right to you, anyways. Maybe. Knocking down your door. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. And then the standards for all home occupations. Mm. There's a comment about the 25% of the existing gross floor area. Do we know what other communities do? Um, I don't have that information. Okay. Um, the original ordinance, I believe, limited it to um, a very small number. Mm-hmm. 
300 square feet. Right. Um, so the zoning board decided to sort of take out the, the max number and go with the percentage. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that would probably be the better way to go. Yeah. But I don't know what the common percentage would be. Right. Well, and, and a good question is if, if accessory buildings are acceptable within this, which you know, do you use 25% of the accessory building, or do you do 25% of the house, the main three right, the main four structure, yeah. combined? Or all of it combined, yeah. you know, so that, that would be something we'd want to clarify. Well, and I wonder if you want to put a cap and a floor on it too, right? 25%, but not to exceed 500 square feet, but right. if you have a small space, maybe you can use 300, I don't know. My inclination says the 25 is miraculously probably pretty close to where it should right. be. Yeah. But I definitely agree that it, that the language should say of the combined of, yeah. space. Yeah, combined of all structure. Space, of all structure. No and, I, and I like the idea of having a cap, although I'd probably rather see it at 600 because it might be a really big home. And, you know, if you've got yeah. a, a barn space that you want to convert to some kind of home and it happens to be 600, I'd hate to see you prevented from doing that. What's 25% of, uh, let me see. 600 would be like 2,400. 2,400 square foot. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a pretty big house. Yeah. But if it's a, if it's a house and a barn, a house and a barn, then it's right. a smaller house because yeah. a barn can be pretty big. Right. Yeah. So that's a, I just want to. I'm sure it's a rare occasion when that happens, but I hate to preclude somebody in that. I don't mind the 25 percent. Yeah, I think. On the, on the on the other hand, on the minimum side, if somebody has a really small place, right. yeah, and they yeah. do something like I don't know guitar lessons or something, mm -hmm. right. like they might use 50 percent right. of their. Apartment or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you could have, you know, an 800 square foot apartment and half yeah. of it's your living room that you're right. using, and it's 400 yeah. square feet. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that's not really fair, is it? Uh, uh, hmm. Should we have the planning department look at that and see what other places are doing? Yeah, I mean, if we're already, already going to come back next time, yeah, and look we, at, should, we should just we might as well have them do a little research on that. Yeah, yeah. She'll go over them, they'll go over the minutes as to what we were saying yeah. and the issues that we had. I think it makes sense to look at that one because that could be yeah. a good point. Yeah. Okay. So Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, other than that, I think that Jess's comments on the zoning board version seem good. I like them. Does that make sense? Should we have them do put together a like cleaned a clean up version? Yeah. And, then, so and then do give us more clarification on yeah. that. Yeah. And it seems like we sort of agree that the hazardous Material stuff can be removed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, we should. Yeah. I think that makes sense. So that was an open sort of question. Yeah. <laughs> Dried it. And so we'll meet up again when. Uh, so we'll continue this. Yeah. yeah and we have two other public areas we have to do anyways. That's true. So we'll just hazardous right. materials. So is hair a hazardous material? No. 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 Can I explain the hazardous material? Yeah. So if someone was doing, um, if like an if a, an artist was. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. You know, had a kiln. Yeah. Um, that's high heat and mm. uh, potentially hazardous. So, <laughs> um, I think it was put in there. Let's so, but one there. of them is one of them is in the minor home occupation, right? Yeah. It references yeah. it in the minor. And if we remove that section, they'd probably still be able to get a kiln. I mean, like right. it wouldn't keep them from getting a kiln, right? Is a kiln combustible or yes. flammable? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it's that it combustible space, and flammable. But, but does it in of it itself. itself a material that burn? I, it seems like that's a weird. Well, it says oh, uh, including it says high heat or open flame, including welding and kilns. kilns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, good. I guess what that section really does, right, is it just bumps anything using that into the major home occupation. Right. Right. right? So that then requires it to still go back to the zoning board. Is that right? Right. So I guess so it just gives you more oversight. It doesn't necessarily say it's forbidden. Right. It just means that yeah. that's going to have to go back and get it. Right. It right. just means that that's one that you're going to have to go in front of the zoning board and get it have it vetted. That makes sense. I think it makes sense. Yeah. 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 So that that would be so better. Fire department knows where all the kilns are. Yeah. yeah. Precisely. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's. So let's leave that in there then. Okay. Yeah. At least for now. Hopefully, nothing radioactive is happening. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one seems weird yeah. to me. So we'll just continue this to a date to be determined that matches up with one of our other hearings. Well, we, well yeah. uh, Jess gave me a couple minutes because we also have. All right, so we're set on this one, right? We're gonna have the planning department do yeah. some research and make some changes, yeah. and we'll look at it. We'll continue it till um, we have the two other ones. One is um, 
the amendment of the city zoning map. Okay. And the other was the amendment of the zoning property 119, 121 Main Street. Okay. So um, she suggested that for notification they would have to be either August 25th or September 8th. Let's go to the 24th. Oh, am I going to be around the 25th? Yeah, 25th is fine. 25th. I said the sooner for the, the poor barber day. I know. Mm -hmm. um, the 25th works for me. Do you guys generally? Okay. August 25th. For the next general, yeah. <coughs> okay, that'll be our next joint here. Okay, so we'll continue the home occupation public hearing to August 25th, and we will also schedule a public hearing for the zoning map and the amendment of the zoning of the property on Main Street also to August 25th. Right, sounds good. Okay, it's gonna be a fun day. All right, I don't think we need to vote on any of this, right? No, no. okay, move to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I gotta go. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. A little bit later. <laughs> Good luck. I got game. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I think the only other administrative thing we have here is this from the zoning board. The only other thing. Yeah. This is uh, a request for comments on application for keeping of chickens on a lot under fifteen thousand square feet at Seven Valley Lane. Would we mm -hmm. like to look at this and talk about it, or would we like to take no position and it's CBA. wish the zoning board the best of luck? Yes. I would like to take no, uh, oh. uh, well, at least I would make no comment. No comment. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Where's Valley Lane? Where's Valley Lane? Um, it's up in uh, the new city area. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. City. Sutton Place and Valley Lane. Yeah. Um, Is that on the backside of Farm Street Village? Uh, it's close to it, but not. I just know the person, so I don't want to. Oh, even it. more. All right. <laughs> uh, can I get a age. motion to make no comment? What are you thinking? Well, it's not a bias. I don't know the person, but after reading it and seeing it, I would support it. But I don't think that we're the right people to make that comment. Yeah, I think right. the ZBA should. So I motion to make no comment to the ZBA, despite my strong personal feelings. <laughs> that, that this should be supported. All right. I'll second that, whatever you <laughs> said. <laughs> okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Uh, all right. Uh, Probably agree. All right. Uh, you gotta have that two cents. There were three decisions from the zone. Yeah. And I think they did a great job at being sure of And then we also have these two, right? Yeah, the ordinance change. The amended ordinance, right? That was an extra one for a that didn't make it, so. All right. Anything else we need to do? I think we we'll cover everything. I think you're good. All right. Okay. Make a motion. We adjourn. Did a great job on it. It's all yours. I'll second that. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Thank you. I mean, it's good to hear those. Thanks, Thanks, folks. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Good Jamie. Thank you. Everyone got a copy of the ordinance. This one's for. I'm here. That here. was you're for your family for. Yeah, listen to you. Try to try to appease this guy, and it didn't matter what you did or what you said. He was going to find something wrong.